Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we have just joined another mission of our legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are trying to beat the game with only two soldiers per mission. It is time for the real deal. Time to fight the Warlock. Time to activate the Ascension Gate. Let's go and never look back. This here is going to be difficult and I I think we're going at times going to be on our back foot specifically uh, once the warlock uh, shows up and we need to battle him for those of you who haven't done it before so here's basically how it works we need to kill the warlock and whenever the warlock is dead we will have a one round window kill his sarcophagus which uh, is that obelisk right over there once um, we are killing this uh, the, he will need to be killed one last time and then we quote unquote have won this mission this guy is having 50 hit points if i'm not mistaken 50 or 60 like stupid amounts of hit points and yeah we can't really crit it and as you can imagine our templar is not the strongest unit when it comes to ranged combat so i'm expecting nothing short of a very long fight if we can't kill the sarcophagus effectively what's happening is He's going, uh, the Warlock is going to spawn again with full health and we need to fight him once again. Problem with all of that is, it's not only the Warlock who's spawning, in between there are going to be quite a few enemies who are going to join us in this beautiful battle here. Enemies such as these guys. Also, we don't want to go too close because that will trigger the warlock. <laughs> nice, we just executed him. Good job, death from above. It's pretty much the exact moment where you want, uh, want to have an execution. Um, maybe only short of the warlock himself. Who would definitely be beautifully, uh, it would be beautiful to execute him. Got a superior scope, so if we make it out of uh, this uh, shithole, we're going to be rewarded. Reload, Overwatch, Overwatch. Really, we don't want to waste any action. Get in position, nice. Get in position. I think once we're getting just a little bit closer, we will trigger the spawn. Let's summon the ghost. And we got a nice little Templar ghost going for us. Love it. He has Bladestorm as well. And a couple of really good attacks. Okay, so let's send in the ghost. Which promptly triggers the Warlock. There we go. Before me, pity, I 
Okay, that is, by the way, where we can use a, uh, an Icarus jump to our advantage. Overwatch, so we can take a couple extra shots. Let's shred him. It's down to two armor. Moving up. I will save lightning hands for for the sarcophagus. Are we already going to use his attacks? Hmm. We have 12 hit points. I mean, we could just, I suppose, stand here. Wallow can't just kill us. And as long as we're just standing there, he's not going to uh, do he's not going to do anything stupid. And we're he's going to trigger Bladestorm twice. Which is why I would want the ghost to live as long as possible. Two little kills. My power cannot be compared to these lower forms of life. That was pretty uh, sick. I like it. All right. Roby continues to take shots. I got it, right? Executes him. Now we have one round Doctor, the to deal as much damage as possible. Psionic capacitor transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. Yeah, but just by looking at it, 9 points of damage, we're probably looking at 75 points of damage here. Luckily for us, we do have uh, solid pistol skills with um, Hawkbite as well. So it's 10 damage right there. I think we can't even if we want uh, the uh, melee damage. So instead, we're positioning the ghost over here. That's one of the typical spawning points where the normal enemies are going to spawn. Hopefully they're spawning over there. So that's the mech. Uh, the mech was okay, the Andromedon is not. Uh, 
Hmm. So I guess we could give it a try. Haywire protocoling the Mac. I think it should be a pretty s good chance that we could take it over. 50-50, come on. Nice, nice. Good job. The mech has a strong gun. Won't help us right now. It certainly will help us later. Continuing to deal damage, every little bit counts. In the meantime, the ghost is going to use one of his charges. May need to get parry. Because the Andromedon can deal more damage than uh, 12, so it could theoretically one-shot him. Which we of course don't want. There we go, another hit. And there's the parry. Super good. Love it. So we're Icarus jumping right over here. Moving up here. Unfortunately, this is just dealing marginal damage to him. Protocoling ourselves, make sure we do have uh, threat assessment. Yeah, that's not going to kill him. So, might as well start chipping down the warlock. to hit him but would still not kill it Probably need to go through another iteration of parry here. Alright, parry. That's a blade stone kill. It's gone. Yeah, Mind Scorch, he's going to be immune, buddy.
Perry. We are moving up here. For two attacks. That's an extra hit. Reload. Okay, we miss him. One more, two more rounds of hacking. That's two times Blade Storm for a moderate 26 points of damage. He's getting his ass handed to him. I love it. Much better than I would have expected. I'm still not uh, fully sold on the whole um, Sarkophag. That might be difficult. We're looking at four of them. Most of them over there. So I'm wondering, like, capacitator discharge seems, seems, seems like an incredibly good idea here. Reload and capacitator discharge which basically hits everyone electronics. yeah it was a good idea So moving to here. Basically hitting everyone. And freeing up line of sight. Yeah. So almost all of them are dead. We're saving lightning hands again. Perry. And let's move here. That way, if the warlock uh, comes free, we can take two attacks. Oh shit. That was unexpected. I thought we had another round. Well, luckily we have Perry. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. Okay, let's start cleaning the house. It's one down. That's two down.
and that's almost another kill. So if we're just standing next to him, he's going to die in his round, hence giving us more time to attack these Sarcophactus. I think that's a wise decision. Unfortunately, he had time to summon of two of the chrysalids. I fear the chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. All right, one down. To do something about that armor. And one severely injured. Kill, death from above, and we can take a normal shot. Again, moving over here in case something spawns. And as we all know, our range capabilities aren't that great. Well, he at least hit it for 8. So, as for the enemies, we're looking at a Spectre. Interesting. An Elite Spectre, to be honest. Okay. Or not normal advent uh, captain. Hmm. So we can issue one more shot. Really good damage. I strike for my people. Okay, and this is going to kill him because we are going to have uh, Bladestorm again. We're looking for reload. And another shot. Ah, we got it uh, down quite a bit. Just in case the attack misses. Having a second one is never wrong. There is the Warlock once again. So far we haven't even taken damage. <laughs> now it's explaining what the Warlock uh, can do. Great job, good. Well done. It's not as if we wouldn't have known beforehand. There we go. Nice little amplify. 
There you go. Nice little eight pro call for ourselves here. Pretty good position. And we executed him. Lovely. With the amount of energy housed in that capacitor, I fear the chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. We are already making destroying it our top priority. What is it looking like? Yeah, let's offer the ghost here as a sacrificial tri uh, tribute. Reinforcements arrive. Nice, a berserk. <laughs> and we executed him right away. Just because we can. Berserk appears, runs in. Gets executed just like that. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that chosen with everything we've got. All right, we will. But beforehand. Oh shit, that was the ghost. No, I just sacrificed the ghost. Another victim of the Invaders campaign. Ah, too bad. I didn't want it to leave. Not like that. There's the parry. Unfortunately, we lost the ghost because I thought I had the real temper selected, but I didn't. For every fallen child of the elders, humanity will repay a tally in flesh. Impossible. The elders, they are silent. All right, the warlock is mildly pissed, and I, I get it. Time to hit the specter. <laughs> Third execution in a row. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'll wait with our pistol shot on the next round. He still has 50, uh, 5 armor. Alright, 
The Templar is such a boss. I mean, it, it's just... It's naughty. Great, most of them are trying to be somewhere near the Templar. Let's get the guy up there. Just setting him up. Okay, I'll go. Okay, we need untouchable. So let's kill something. Death from above kicks in. The loss of these subordinates is as meaningless to me as it is to you. Ah, too much uh, cover. Let's just get the burst up down further. Reaper. Yes. Berserk. Alright, that's one down. Got the focus, got the Reaper's instinct going. Eight to nine, that's exactly what we want to see. Come on, buddy. Nice, nice, nice. Two down. Thousands to go. Unfortunately, not completely killed him. Almost, though. Nice, and he ran into us. Well, that's good. So, this here is going to be untouchable. Moving in. Still 
still dealing with a spectral army, but thank you that we have so much movement. Alright. We're just going to overwatch here. Mainly because he is stunned. And I don't want the uh, warlock to, to get a turn. Which we successful prevent uh, successfully prevented. And we're calling ourselves. Killing this guy. And now it's time for the final cut. Nice. I think we got it, boys. I will take back all that you have stolen, Templar. Let me show you. You are immune against your mind's tricks. Take this warlock. Never return. to pull it off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the Elder's faces. Nice. Beautiful. He invaded our home. We forced him back. Then we invaded his home. And he had nothing uh, else to say other than, oh, I'm so sorry. I would say that was pretty much a dominant mission. Recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development and with that we are getting the Warlock gun which is the gun that Roby is going to have from now on super strong very nice repeater weapon I like it despite their apparent protections from our encounters in the field it would seem the Chosen are entirely vulnerable within the confines of their stronghold. Got a superior scope. And got the disruptor rifle. We are stronger by far when working together. Your skill is unquestionable, Commander. Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. Let's change the research and look at the Warlock's weapon, please. Consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. We'll Even now, we feel its absence. A voice silenced forever. You are born of our power. Does not our very life force flow within your veins? We feel such. Well, sucks losing someone, but uh, the warlock needed to go. What? Oh my lord! Beast-like enemies. Okay, <laughs> that's easy. Squad size. Uh, squad size limited to three. Yeah. Well. Protect the device, though. Eh, maybe we can pull it off. 
comes at a cool time just after we're done with the warlock but yeah that's going to happen in the next mission it practically immediately triggered the mission and practically immediately makes me think whom are we going to take onto this mission it's probably going to be Edgar Alien Poe and a Dragonova But uh, they will do it in the next run. Thank you so much for watching today. It was a pleasure. And we have fought back uh, the Warlock, finally. There were some casualties during that last covert action. What? But our troops will all recover after some well-earned rest. We've just got some new intel on the Chosen. It should be easier to hunt them down now. Keep this up, Commander. And we might just make you an honorary Reaper. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. So, we just got um, the Chosen here. We could recruit another Reaper. This here is probably the best that we could do. Unfortunately, the Templar is lightly wounded, um, which means we can't send him onto such a mission. But we would want to have a thre bond uh, threshold mission so that they get the highest uh, bond level elsewise. I mean, this year probably is going to be our selection. Where is Roby? Tired for 10 days. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, yeah, do we have something that only takes 6 days? I mean, we could infiltrate her stronghold and set it up for next month. We don't have anything else that we would need to do right now. And Mitch here certainly can do it. If he partners up with either of these guys here, Shogun for instance, that should be fine by the way. Yeah, no. We need to put Mitch in the first slot. So yeah, Mitch and Shogun, so, uh, 16 days. One of them might be injured, but that's okay. We'll that way we would get rid of uh, the Assassin as well. Now I was about to, to call it a day, uh, but so many things happened at once. All right, Cyber is... Also a captain now. God damn it. I was about to call it a day. So yeah, we got the mission prepared. The mission is going to happen the next time. Again, thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure. It was a treat. And we're going to continue in the next mission. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.